To be clear, the workplace at the commanders today bears no resemblance to the workplace that has been described to this committee. I don't believe you. The commanders recently made headlines for finding defensive coordinator Jack Del Rio $100,000 for expressing his opinion on the January 6th committee. So what is going on in D.C.? Here with me now in studio, sports attorney and New York Law School professor Dan Lust. Uh, all right, so let us discuss. I don't believe Roger Goodell when he's like, I can't believe this workplace. This was horrible. He knew all along, didn't he? He, I mean, he's acknowledging that he did, but he also has the authority, if he wants to, to put this up to a vote to have Dan Snyder actually removed as owner of the team. So he could say he what he knew. With the what's, Clippers. Right, but Yay. like what's acceptable, what's not acceptable. He's the guy, if he wanted to, he could refer this to have him removed as owner, which he did not do. We, Why? We were, and we watched this hearing for two and a half hours, and those words did not come out of his, out of his mouth, even though the questions kept getting it there. So it's as good of a question uh, if anybody wants to ask it. You know, maybe at this next hearing, which we have one upcoming, why doesn't why, uh, why isn't Roger Goodell forcing Dan Snyder to sell the team? I think that's a fair question. But it's more than just the Washington Commanders. I, I think they're a, a convenient boogeyman here. Dan Snyder is uh, in particular, but. This is pervasive throughout the entire NFL. And you have uh, dancers from multiple teams who have talked about sexual harassment for decades. And they're now just getting around to it. It reminds me of the FBI. It's like, oh, yes, we have taken a look at this, and by gum, we are so upset by it. But nothing ever really changes. Nothing structurally changes. So why is the league such a magnet for horrible things? Well, it's interesting. I mean, Roger Goodell is saying Dan Snyder is being held accountable. It's a $10 million fine, and it's, you know, he's removed his day-to-day -day owner. But, you know, it's a drop in the bucket, right, for a billionaire owner. And yeah, his, it and is his, a drop in the bucket. But the truth is his wife is appointed as the one in charge. So nothing has really happened, right? And Dan Snyder is off in his yacht in France. So nothing has really happened. So if you do want to hold someone accountable, you have to make an example of someone at some point in time. Dan Snyder seems to be the guy, but Roger Goodell doesn't want to do it. So does does the government really need to get involved, or shouldn't uh, the league? Is, is are the owners protecting Roger Goodell as much as he has protected them? You know, it's an embarrassment that the government has to get involved because Roger Goodell won't do anything, right? So I think that's the point of this hearing. And the left, the right, everyone's kind of pointing out and saying, "Why are we here today?" The, the point is because you know a billion-dollar business, maybe even a trillion-dollar business, is not doing anything to to hold their owners accountable. So if you want to set a lesson and you want to say you're making stands on diversity and racism, at yeah. some point you have to stand up when you have really heinous allegations. Like this. Yeah, but they're, they're not going to. You know, they're going to do exactly what uh, Mark Zuckerberg does every time he goes before Congress. Like, yeah, absolutely. I hear you. I hear you. And we're going to do better. We really want to do better. And we want to do better things. And I've internalized everything you've said. It's like, no, you haven't. You're going to do the exact same thing. And you're going to shadow ban people. And you're going to take money from bad places. And you're going to uh, make sure conservatives don't have the same kind of voice that everyone else does. And the same thing's going to happen. They're going to pay the dancers almost zero and treat them like garbage. Right, the, the and truth is... And then, right. you know, you're going to have uh, people taking pictures of their, <laughs> and their Crocs and sending them... Right, you know... The, I'm not going to mention any names, Brett Favre. You know, the, the truth is this shouldn't be a political issue, but it is because of the NFL's failure to act. So if they want to take this in their own hands and, and you know, really set an example here, they could. Um, but again, Kennedy, we're going to be back at, you know, for this another congressional hearing next week. Dan Snyder will be subpoenaed next week, according to What reports. happens if he doesn't show up? He'll That's just an laugh it, maniacally and pet his hairless cat on his yacht? Yes, and ask for <laughs> a billion dollars and then put his finger to his nose, right? <laughs> exactly. Um, you know, but I, I think he could be held, honestly, in contempt of, of Congress if he doesn't show up. So we'll see. He wants to hide on his yacht. He's saying his Zoom doesn't work conveniently. You know, Zoom works for everyone else. It's worked for Roger Goodell today, but apparently not for billionaire Dan Snyder. So we'll see. We'll see what comes of it. I, I, uh, my spider sense is that he will show up. How long so. does Roger Goodell have in the NFL? Roger Goodell, I think, is, uh, for better or for worse, the $64 million man. There was testimony of that today, how much money the guy's making. What's his job? His job is to be a punching bag for the NFL. And Kennedy, for better or for worse, he did a good job today, right? That's what he did. He deflected. He held up the shield like the Captain America shield. He's not Captain NFL. America. Hey. That's an insult to Chris Evans. Hey. I won't take it. Listen. Uh, Dan Lust, <laughs> please come back. I know you're in New York, so we will talk to you more about things we love, sports and the law. My pleasure. Thank you, dear.